Awesome. Thanks so much for having us and, and welcome everybody to the session. We are about to get kicked off here in just a minute to dig into scaling large language models reliably and securely with uh, Robinhood. So I'll just introduce myself real quickly and, and hand it over to the star for today, uh, Dolly. But my name is Trevor Spires. I'm a solutions architect here at AWS. I uh, had the pleasure of working with Robinhood for the last six months or so to help them stand up their uh, LLM inference platform on Bedrock. Today, we're going to dig into their journey, the, the different design iterations that they went through, as well as their architecture um, and their LLM gateway and some tools that they've built to um, scale uh, inference securely. So with that, Dolly. And maybe just tell them who you are real quick. Oh, sorry. Hi, I'm Dolly. I'm a machine learning engineer at Robinhood. Today, I will walk you through how Robinhood's AI platform is enabling cutting edge use cases by addressing key challenges in scalability and security. We will start with our platform mission and the design decisions that shape it, and explore the role of our LM gateway in providing flexibility and control. And finally, we will share our goals for 2025 as we continue scaling and enhancing our infrastructure. For those who don't know Robinhood, Robinhood pioneered commission-free trading in 2013. We were the first brokerage to be fully hosted on the cloud service. We offer brokerage, crypto, joint account, future, credit card, and spending cards. Our mission is to democratize finance for all with the most intuitive user experience. Our mission at Robinhood's AI and ML platform is simple yet ambitious to empower developers with powerful AI and ML abstractions for, uh, and while supporting power users with advanced tools. We focus on streamlining the journey from experimentation to production and enabling rapid adoption of state-of-the-art Gen AI technologies, whether it's open sourced, closed sourced, or homegrown. Today, our platform powers a variety of critical use cases including fraud investigation, document processing, agentic workflows, data analysis, text to SQL, for example, and chat applications, and content generation for marketing. Let's zoom in on the fraud investigation use case. So we have over 80 fraud investigation agents manually writing over 300 case conclusions every day. So ensuring consistency and maintaining high quality in these narratives has always been a challenge. So here's the workflow. The fraud investigators would use the fraud management dashboard. They, uh, they would take notes and prepare their findings. So eventually completing a long and complex resolution form. Previously, they had to manually write the entire narrative based on their findings, which could take more than half an hour to an hour. Now we have introduced a solution powered by AWS Bedrock's provisioned throughput mode, leveraging the Claude Sonic model. So this model takes the raw notes and key details from the form and transforms them into a structured draft conclusion in seconds. But to prevent the misuse of the feature, we have implemented safeguards. The generate narrative button over there will only be active um, if, when the changes are made to the form. And agents are limited to two clicks per browser session. While the generated narrative streamlined the process, it's not perfect. So, and we encourage agents to manually refine it to ensure accuracy and completeness. Finally, we have added a feedback loop to improve the system over time. Agents can, agents can rate the generation experience on a scale of one to five, helping us analyze performance and identify areas for enhancement offline. However, this use case brings unique challenges. For example, prompts can exceed 15,000 tokens per request, and during peak hours, such as 9 a.m., when multiple agents work simultaneously, we often hit rate limits. So this high demand highlighted the limitations of our initial approach to LLM inference. So fintech companies are subject to stricter data regulations due to the sensitive nature of financial information. So this is why we first chose AWS Bedrock provision throughput mode. So in provision throughput mode, we we purchase one unit of cloud model at a fixed cost. It provides isolated inference by deploying cloud model as a dedicated instance. So this means that we gain the raw GPU capacity of the model without any enforced weight limits from Bedrock. So to further enhance security, we configured VPC endpoints for Bedrock. 
Ensuring all traffic stays securely within the AWS network via private link. So how that works is that the VPC endpoints you see there allows traffic to flow from Robinhood's um, service to AWS Bedrock without traversing the public internet. This combination of isolated inference and private connectivity makes provision throughput mode um, an ideal use case for, for fintech. So despite these benefits, we see a couple of challenges. So the first thing is the scalability issues. So provision throughput mode requires pre-committing to a fixed number of model units ahead of time, which is challenging because the usage patterns could evolve very quickly. Robinhood's operation frequently involves bursting traffic where internal operators interact with the system simultaneously. And given that the request per minute limit at 4PT is relatively fixed, it became difficult to handle surges in demand. The other problem we identify is the noisy neighbor problem. So when one pin consumes a large amount of capacity, it can negatively affect other teams sharing the same model unit, so leading to degraded performance for all. So using the provision throughput mode taught us a couple of key lessons. So first, predicting traffic patterns months in advance group is a major challenge. Because to secure the best pricing, you need to commit to model units for six months. And traffic spikes might not follow that pattern. Second, so access to the latest models was delayed. So new LLMs were typically released to the on-demand API first, with a lack of a couple of months before they get released to the provision throughput mode. So this delay means that we couldn't immediately adopt the Claw 3.5 Sonic model when it first came out, in limiting our ability to innovate. Finally, cost constraints and the six-month commitment period restricted us to purchasing a single model unit for each model. So this not only made it challenging to support a variety of models, like from Sony to Haiku to Opus, but also reduced our flexibility to adapt to different use cases and allow product teams to experiment with new models whenever they want. And if I could add uh, real quick to that, if we go back to the slide, th th this is common across a lot of customers that we work with. Uh, predicting demand far in advance for Gen AI applications can be challenging because uh, you, there, there's a lot of math involved and assumptions around uh, how much people are going to be prompting that application. Um, and of course, for any company, especially an innovative company like um, Robinhood, having access to models as soon as they release is really, really essential, which led us to the revised, uh, the revised design that Dolly will dig right into. Mm -hmm. So in V2, we transitioned to AWS Bedrock's on-demand API for greater flexibility and scalability. We is supported by a zero-day data retention agreement for security. So a key improvement is AWS Bedrock's cross-region inference. So the throughput can double the allocated quota in the region where the inference profile is in. So how it works behind the scene is that it dynamically routes traffic across multiple regions to handle surges without the need for complex client-side load balancing. So this ensures optimal availability, reduced latency, and increased resilience during the high usage period. Yeah, this, this really offers a few things. Right? When you look at the cross-region um, inference model, the, the whole design remains the same. The VPC security via the VPC endpoint stays the same. But now they're able to, A, get access to models as soon as they release, leverage multiple models on the back end for different tasks. And this cross-region inference feature uh, adds, adds a variety of benefits. The double capacity is obviously essential, having twice the amount of tokens available to use for your large language models. But this also allows you to do um, like failover use case. So a lot of customers want to make sure that operations will continue in the event of some regional impact. And so this would allow you to gracefully and transparently fail over to a backup region for LLM inference um, on AWS. We were able to transition from the provision throughput mode to the on-demand API seamlessly without affecting any client traffic with the help of LLM Gateway. So additionally, the LLM Gateway offers a couple of advantages. The Gateway is designed to be compatible with a wide variety of SDKs, like OpenAI, Anthropic, um, and other open source SDKs. So the, the gateway handles translating inputs to providers' endpoints for completion, embedding, and image generation, so making integration seamless. We also validate token size, image size, and other input parameters 
to ensure that requests are compliant and efficient. Additionally, every request and response is logged to an offline hive, hive table, providing a robust audit trail and enabling deeper analysis over time. This flexibility enables teams at Robinhood to build on their preferred stacks while still accessing LLMs through a centralized service. We're going to talk about a few components of the LLM gateway. The first is the PII reduction service. Given Robinhood's strict compliance requirements, the gateway includes a built-in PII reduction service that automatically detects and redacts sensitive information from inputs and outputs. We are using the Microsoft Presidio API under the hood. So this service ensures that we can leverage LLMs for different use cases while still maintaining full compliance with data piracy regulations. The second thing I want to stress is the fallback model. So to ensure high availability and continuity, the gateway supports a fallback model mechanism. So if the primary model fails or exceeds capacity limit, the gateway seamlessly switches to a secondary fallback model, ensuring minimal disruption to ongoing processes. So for example, if we have the with a team uses OpenAI API, we usually will fall back to a Llama model. And for Cloud Sonic, we usually will fall back to like Cloud Haiku. But all of these are configurable by the client teams. Evaluation is the most important thing for any LM applications. So the gateway also locks the request and response payload and facilitates continuous model evaluation, enabling team to benchmark performance, accuracy, and efficiency of uh, their LMs in real time. So this ensures that the teams can experiment with new models designed to fine-tune them and select the most performant options of, for different use cases. Additionally, the gateway automatically calculates the cost of each request at the response time. So as a client team, you can set the budgets and enforce weight limits at multiple levels, whether by project, API key, or model. So it gives you very granular control over usage and costs. So these capabilities ensure real-time cost checking and streamlined resource management. I, I would say on that LLM gateway piece, like the, the part that really blew my mind is uh, you know, at, anywhere it's important to give, uh, especially when we have a lot of developers developing on models, to give them choice right, for the SDKs that they bring to the environment. And so the flexibility that this unlocks for teams to kind of bring their own tools and bring their own SDKs to build, maybe they've already built somewhere else and they'd like to rehost that on a secure platform like Bedrock. This makes, um, makes that very, very easy for developers. Awesome. As we look ahead to 2025, we are focused on building a platform that empowers teams to innovate faster with greater precision and reliability. Our goals are interconnected and designed to address key challenges in scaling, AI and ML at Robinhood. So first, we are introducing built-in tools for model and prompt evaluation analysis, making it easier to iterate and refine models effectively. So to ensure consistency and compliance, we are working to centralize AI data governance, so creating a unified framework for managing data across the platform. So next, we are enhancing the gateway to enable dynamic model routing and fine-tuned options so that the right model serves the right request at the right time. To scale these capabilities further, we are rolling out batch inference pipelines enabling efficient processing of large-scale tasks. Finally, we are fostering creativity and experimentation by providing a prompt playground that allows you to switch model and change par uh, parameters on production data. So it, it will be a space to explore and test ideas. I hope our journey has helped you understand the pros and cons of different options in AWS Bedrock and the importance of having a LM gateway. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody.